We've written a paper that describes a study that we've done. It's been gone, ongoing um, for over a year now um, to test um, glasses that are designed to stop the progression of nearsightedness. When I was growing up, nobody thought about, I mean, it was just a fact of life that I was going to get glasses when I was in the third grade, and then my eyes were going to get worse and worse, and there's nothing we could do about it. But now, for the very first time, these are glasses that, um, when you wear them, they actually slow or even stop the progression of, my, of myopia. And it's really the modern world that is causing us to need glasses. And in certain places where, um, lots of places in Asia and big cities where people are indoors all the time and there's a big emphasis on academia and people are on their smartphones and their tablets and their computers and televisions and reading books even all the time, that it's that, those stimuli that are actually causing the eye to grow. We know that if you look across kids when they're five years old, it's possible to measure the length of the, we have good instruments now, we can measure the length of the eye. And you can predict by how long people's eyes are when they're five, what the probability is that they're gonna have myopia. But on the other hand, we've made discoveries about the genetics that um, now should help us sort that even better. And I think we should be able to, if we could you know, look at everybody five years old and look at their genetics and how long their eye is already, that we should be able to predict very accurately who is going to need glasses. My older daughter is a pretty high myope and uh, she started wearing glasses in the third grade. If I, if I had these glasses and I said, hey, would you put these glasses on in the first grade? And maybe could have prevented her ever actually needing, eventually gets to be an adult, she could throw them away. Uh, rather than being somebody that's at risk for losing vision. And we've also negotiated with the FDA, and um, they've agreed that if we meet a particular set of um, milestones, that they'll also allow us to market them in the United States. But they want to see three years of data. So we're, you know, a year and a half still from our th end, three year endpoint for that. But that the idea is that within this next year that the market will start to put kid, these glasses on kids outside the United States and, um, and move forward to ultimately so they can be on everybody.